Code Signal, RK, Chess Knight. Hello everyone, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving Chess Knight from Code Signal. Let's begin. So, you're given a position of a knight on a standard chessboard, find a number of different moves a knight can perform. So you can see here the different moves, um, if you've heard of chess before, you can make a move with a knight. Choose bases up, choose bases left, choose bases down, choose bases right. Then you can do one space in the other direction, up or down, or left or right, respective of whatever direction you choose. Feel free to Wikipedia chess to understand how that works, or look at this diagram, it's a simple way of understanding it. Um, for example, here you can make eight positions if it's in the center of the board, but if it's close to the boundaries, it limits the number of positions it can go to. All right, so let's begin. And now, I want to create a helper method to make it easier to visualize. And here, there's some things you want to consider. One is you could tell that what moves it can make is bounded by the boundaries of the chessboard. It goes from A to H in the horizontal direction, and it goes from 1 to 8 from the vertical direction. So I, I could see here that I'm dissecting that cell position just so it could get its respective horizontal and vertical position. Now let's go ahead to the next one, find possible moves. Okay, we want to get the count of the number of moves. Actually, I'll just make this much more easier to read. Zero, and we return the possible moves. All right, now it's going to be kind of easy and straightforward. You actually want to do a bunch of if and else conditions to see what happens if you make some moves. Like, let's just say, let's give you an example. Horizontal, minus two. Now it goes two to the left and it has to be greater than A. So greater than or equal to A. And we also want to make sure, let's just take, okay, now we can choose either up or down. I'll just choose up as a simple way to visualize. Let's just do vert plus one is less than or equal to eight. Oh, and not just any eight, it's a character eight. So one of the nice things here, and once it's passed, we just increment the number of moves plus plus. If it's past the boundary, based on the position moves with plus one or minus two, then we don't even add the moves at all. Now you might be wondering why I did this one and why I could just add integers with a character. One of the cool things about Java is that once you add numbers to a character, it automatically increments it to the next ASCII value. So let's see, and we're gonna do eight of these. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now this is the part where things get a little bit speedy. All right, got all eight. Now to define the boundaries. Now as I mentioned again, you wanna make sure that if it moves left to right, up and down, two to one, one to two, whatever position moves you make, it has to be within the boundaries of its respective axi. That's why I split it to characters of horizontal, characters of vertical. Now just watch this video and you could see how I would construct it. Ah! Alright guys, so this is how you define the constraints. Let's see if this works. Nice. Let's submit it. Well, that's great. Uh, I'm glad this is pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, please like and subscribe if you like my content. Um, I think this takes about all one space and time complexity. Um, if you want to have a better solution, feel free to comment it below. I know some people use like a crazy for nested for loop, which is kind of hard to understand what's been going on. I think something straightforward like this, although robust in code, it's quite easy for someone who's just starting to understand what you're going to do. Um, otherwise, uh, take care guys. And if you like and subscribe, I'll give you a free, um, chess board signed by um, Bobby Fisher, he risen from his grave just to go and help promote my channel. No, just kidding. You guys take care. Goodbye.